what's going on guys good morning hope everybody's uh having a good year this year uh so i had a request on the comments uh, last time on the showing you guys how uh we usually drop the cables for access controls door so i thought i'd do a quick video on how we usually do that um there's a new construction job site and uh i'm gonna show you guys right quick um how we usually do that and uh so in this case, uh, this door here, where it, which it doesn't have a door yet, right? So it's perfect. Um, it, it, they're going to be installing the frame later on and doing all that good stuff. But anyways, uh, we have our wire, which is that purple wire up there coming in, going into that sleeve right there. That purple wire is our access controls wire. And uh, it's coming in into this room. And let me just show you guys right quick this uh, here. It's going to be our card reader and it's 45 inches from the finished floor to the middle of the card reader 45 inches uh to center uh so it could go ahead and be in compliance with the ada requirements and um here our cable let me show you guys right quick my cable is coming through like i said through that sleeve and uh she rockers are going to be installing the shoe rock and making it making it look nice and pretty later on and uh my cable's right there uh it's the purple one. I'm gonna guide my cable and push it through top of this uh, eight by eight box, uh, junction box. And uh, I'm gonna strip my wires in there and uh, that composite has four wires in there. One is for uh, lock power, uh, for car reader, uh, door contact sensor, which is going to be that guy right there. You see how they ran our flex into our box. So that's going to be the door contact sensor to monitor the door being open and closed. Uh, here on this side is going to be where the hinges are going to be installed for the door. So that's been said, the door is gonna be swinging that way like this. So here we have our other conduit right there going down making a 90. And then that's the card reader I was showing you guys a little bit ago. Uh, so that's going to be the other wire that we run and then it goes to our box right that's where we're going to be stripping that wire ground all them four wires like I said so car reader door contact and then we have the lock power uh, that's a separate uh, conductor that goes down and uh, I believe the electricians are still missing that conduit but um, the conduit is going to run down as well, like this and make a 90 and stop somewhere right here. So I could go ahead and grab my wire. They're going to maybe 90 into this frame. And that's where I'm going to be whenever the frame of the door gets installed. I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to be installing a door strike. Right. So everything's uh, going to be pre-done. Hopefully the frame is... Uh, pre uh, cut already so I could just install my electric strike if not I'm gonna have to cut that strike and uh, that'd be on a separate video how to cut a strike on a metal frame but it looks like they're missing that conduit and uh, the finished floor uh, the ceiling here is going to be nine foot ceiling and that's where I'm gonna be installing somewhere right here uh, inside of this room uh, I'm going to be installing a motion uh, detector, which is going to be actuating the door and, or the system. So I can go ahead and freely exit without the system throwing off any alarms or anything. So uh, there's no need for a conduit for that one. I'm just going to air out my cable and install that above ceiling. So nobody's going to be able to see that. Um, but yeah, um, so for example, I mean, here at this job era, they want everything in conduit. Uh, I did ask if the, they wanted the motion to be in a condo as well with the flex or something. They said no, it was fine. So uh, they just want everything else that's going to be on a wall to be conduit. For example, like I said, either for the car reader, uh, the electricians are probably going to be doing another knockout right here on the side of our box for our lock power, which is another cable that goes to the strike. And like I said, your motion detector there. And our, not, not your, um, excuse me, my, not your door contact sensor to monitor the door. And your motion device, which is going to be here right in the middle of the door on the ceiling tile. Once they install that, 
and that's where we're gonna be installing the motion detector. So I'll be showing a video later on on how everything looks when it's done, test, and all that good stuff. But uh, for example, here, now that everything's open, I could show you guys uh, very easily how we usually run cables through the wall whenever there's no conduit provided by uh, a contractor or a request by a customer. So we usually just install our uh, junction box, which is an 8x8 or it could be a 10x10, whichever is cheaper, right? Get with your uh, project manager so you can save some money. Or we just sometimes leave the service loop up there on the hanger. And then from there, we just break our wiring towards each device, right? Like I said, your door contact sensor, your car reader out here, lock power, and uh, your motion detector to exit. So yeah, so right quick before I forget guys and I uh, end this video. Uh, so for example, if there were to not be any conduit provided by any contractor, um, we were still uh, to be installing a uh, junction box so we keep our cable there. And if not, like I said, leave it on that hanger. And from there we will pull our cables uh, through the knockouts, obviously I like to put uh, bushings or uh, compression connectors so I can keep my cable nice and safe and there's no uh, sharp edges anywhere where there could be a risk of getting cut. But then we wire our wires, for example here, if we were not to have a conduit here, I would just literally make a hole on the sheetrock and then make a hole on the other side of uh, the sheetrock here and I would push my glow rods up there and uh, I would have a second guy obviously See if he finds the glow rods up there and tie our cable with some jet line or just tie the cable to the glow rod and push that cable down to our car reader. And it would be behind the sheet rock, right? Um, not the best way, but sometimes that's pretty much how we usually do it whenever they want to add a door into an existing building that's already nice and done. Um, same thing for here. For this uh, door contact sensor, we will just drill up, straight up, carefully, without hitting no electrical, uh, right? So we just uh, drill on our header here, and uh, drill up, and then drill another hole somewhere, let's say for example, right under that conduit, another hole right there, and then we just run our cable straight to our box. So uh, that's whenever we are fishing cables through frames, and uh, dealing with all that, uh, done uh, environment whenever a building is already done and we're just running cables and actually uh, making these doors X controls last minute or last add-ons and stuff like that. Same for the motion, we mount the motion on the ceiling drop and I think I forgot to mention that a little bit ago. It's going to be on the, whenever they install the ceiling drop here, we're going to install the motion away from the door, maybe uh, a foot, maybe, maybe le half a foot, right? Maybe six inches away from there. And then that's where we start our motion detector so people could really exit. And uh, I already said, I mentioned the card reader and we would obviously do the same thing. Maybe drill a hole somewhere here on the sheet rock and then drop our cable all the way here to a certain point here. And then drill a hole here for the door strike straight into the frame and try to fish from here up there. Pull our cable for our lock power and install the strike and all that good stuff. But that's pretty much how you fish cables guys uh this is the perfect example on how to do that and uh pretty much guys uh i'll see if one day i could go ahead and show you guys how i usually do that but um uh, being i've just been so busy so i just uh i apologize for any convenience i appreciate everybody subscribing and um don't forget to subscribe again and uh give a thumbs like uh thumbs up and share my videos guys i'm trying to teach you guys how i usually do this in the low voltage area this is what i usually do we do a little data here and there to network and infrastructure and stuff like that but yeah there's a new job site so like i said there that's a door there that they're adding um and they're doing conduit for us for all these doors which is nice it just makes our job easier um and it's better just to have their wire protected but anyways um I'll see you guys around later.